Buck 25 for a movie ticket, just over $14,000 for a new home, and a whopping 33 cents for a gallon of gas. Those were the prices 51 years ago, 1967, the first and only time Glasgow won a boys cross country state championship. I don't, we should, I should find that out. I don't know anyone, no, it's been a while. McKeon may not know specifics of the Scotties program five decades ago, but he certainly understands the significance. Last year's Class B runner-up at the state cross country invite, he spent his summer training, envisioning, he says, Zach Meeker ahead of him and trying to chase him down. Meeker, of course, is the state champion out of Manhattan who pulled away down the stretch, winning the medalist honors by just over 10 seconds, leaving the Tigers to the team title over, you guessed it, Glasgow. Uh, we definitely know it's, it's something that we need to do, but we also know that we can do it. We just, we all need a good race and we'll, all of us are gonna run in the summer, so we'll be pretty prepared for it. They've been really supportive, actually. We got back last year and we got a lot of good jobs in the hallways and a lot of people were impressed with it and told us to go for it next year. The pieces are in place for the Scotties. Glasgow returns its top six placers from state, but Meeker and Manhattan lost only one of the top six Tigers to graduation, meaning a literal race to the finish line could again await at state. Just knowing they're out there and knowing that they're probably working too, it gives you a lot of motivation you know, to strive to do better and to want to get that state championship. Overby paced Glasgow in its season opening invite this month, 10th overall at the Williston Invitational August 25th. The Scotties understand the impact a potential title would bring to the town, which is enriched with storied tradition in sports like football, wrestling, and even girls cross country. There's been a lot of improvements. I remember a few years ago, like when I was in junior high, I watched the high school and you know, we've never really had a very talented boys team. It's kind of always been the girls cross country team, um, but it's just kind of different to see the boys. I guess. I really hope so because I think since it's been so long since we've won a state title that people kind of overlooked us but we're hoping to change that now. Glasgow resumes its season Friday August 31st at the Billings Invitational. Scotties will not see their Manhattan rivals until early October. That's the capital city 7-7 Invitational in Helena. The state invite meanwhile in Missoula October 20th. Richie Melby, MTN Sports.